Lewis. You have to tell Vendon. The world has a right to know of our discovery. It won't be necessary to tell me now. I'll inform the International Congress and the UN Geophysical Headquarters. I was wondering how long you'd wait before returning, Mr. Vendon. And I'm wondering what you've been concealing from me and why. Subterranean 116. A new heavy element discovered and named by me. I didn't want to report it until I had more of an opportunity to learn its properties. I need more than excuses. I want the whole story. Now, what is that element? And what will it do? Of course. This way, Mr. Benton. This element is present in the drill core, inert until refined, compressed and hit for one minute by a half million volt charge. And then? You may see for yourself, Mr. Vendor. Report. All secure, sir. No damage to hull, no reported injuries to personnel. Chip, see if you can check the cause. I'm going to check with Mr. Omier at the drill control dome. 
I have created energy, Paul. Pure energy. You've also killed a man. I shall feed upon it, be nourished by it. I shall possess the power of the sun. The power of the devil? What kind of a monster have I created? Soon we will have power beyond imagination. Who will have? The world or you? I will have it. And with it, I will begin a new era. An era in which creatures of genius will dominate. Androids like me, Paul. I check with drill control. Their instruments don't show the cause of that turbulence either. Bad news, though. Vendon's dead. Dead? Mm. How'd that happen? Well, he was in a sea lock, and just as he was going into a shuttle craft, the turbulence hit. Both he and the craft disappeared without a trace. Has it been reported? Yeah. Omi has taken care of that. What about the drill control? Ain't damage? Mm, just minor. Repairs are being made now. Did Omir have a report on the drill header shaft? It says there's no damage. Let's check it anyway. More bad news. The shaft pressure's right on the red line. A couple of pounds pressure and this shaft will blow wide open. You know what that could mean? Earthquakes, tidal waves, volcanic action. Just barely in the safe area. And it's going to stay that way. Sparks? Aye, sir. Call Mr. Omir. Tell him I'd like him to come aboard the Sea View for a meeting. We'll pick him up in the flying sub. Aye, sir. Crane is sending the flying sub for you, Eaton. What are you doing here? I've just brought the shaft pressure down to a safe level. You haven't brought the pressure down. You've used your power to show a false pressure reading. Of course. Captain Crane will want me to stop drilling if the pressure goes beyond the red line. That would deny me the only source of S-116. And that I won't permit. You won't permit? Well, I won't permit you to do anything so irresponsibly dangerous. Won't you, Paul? The flying sub is Berth Lee. Homer's coming aboard. Thanks, Jim. Crane, I think you worry too much, Captain. I've got a lot to worry about, Mr. Omer. I've just made up some data sheets. Pressure readings at various depths, speed of drilling, earth response. You're very thorough, Captain. And what do they tell you? We'll know shortly. Run these totals through the computer. I want another shaft pressure we can expect 12 hours from now. May I see them? The shaft pressure reading will be 5, 6, 1, 6 in 12 hours. Is that about right, Chip? I couldn't say, sir. The computer and I aren't as fast as Mr. Omir. It won't be about right, Captain. It will be exact. Well, what do you base that on? Experience, special knowledge, an educated guess. Mr. Omir was exactly right. 5616 is the correct figure. You're very good, sir. Genius is the word. Let's make a deal, Captain. If 
that shaft pressure does not begin to drop within two hours, we'll stop drilling. If it does drop, we'll continue. Is that fair? Yes. If Admiral Nelson and Geophysical Headquarters agree. They will. I ask only one favor. Oh, what's that? Let me look at your prime circuits. Just to be sure that shakeup hasn't damaged them so you'll get false readings. All right. Show Mr. Omir what he needs to see. Right this way, Mr. Omir. There you are. If there's anything you want to know, just ask me. I'll manage. I know these circuits better than you know the palm of your hand. Seems to be in order. Glad to hear it. You see? The pressure is well within safe limits, and it's only been two hours. The gauge on the sea view, does it show the same reading? Exactly. And so do all the others. Well, not the one on the main control panel. That shows pressure well beyond the red line. And has for the past hour. It doesn't really matter what that gauge says. Well, it does to me. It means the drilling should stop and the shaft should be closed up. There could be a violent eruption at any moment. You could be wrong, Paul. Only about you. There I was wrong from the moment I got the idea to create you. Homer's right again, on a safe drilling level. I still don't like it. I know what you mean, a man that's smart, right all the time, gets under your hide. I don't mean it that way. The deeper we drilled, the higher the pressure went. And now, even though we're still drilling, the pressure dropped. You got an answer to it? I'm no scientist, Chip. Why don't you try calling Admiral Nelson at the Institute? I've already tried. No luck so far. This started out to be a routine power supply mission, and now look at it. Captain. Emergency message from Geophysical Headquarters. In view of lower shaft pressure, continue drilling. Staff pressure is 6199. Don't you understand the risk you're taking? Don't you know the violence you can let loose on the world? Certainly I know. You know there's going to be an eruption? I know that soon I will have in my grasp the unlimited power to rule the universe. Tanks. Bring her to trim. Aye, sir. What's the shaft pressure lead? Safe and falling. Sparks, activate nose camera. Aye, sir.
tiger's loose. But the pressure eating was in the safe area. Sparks, get me Mr. Omer on the double. Aye, sir. The sea didn't smother that eruption or extend half a mile in the sky. What if we have another earthquake? And that's it. That's the end. Captain, this is Sparks. Mr. Omer on your circuit. Patch him in. We're having a little excitement, aren't we, Captain? Too much, Mr. Omer. How do you explain that explosion? The pressure dial was in the safe area. Who can say? A faulty diaphragm in the sensor at the drill casing, possibly. I could suggest a dozen malfunctions, but in any case, it's not serious. I don't believe that. Why not? We've pierced the pressure dome. The eruption will soon subside. I don't believe that either. I think we've tapped the very heart of the Earth. That's nonsense. Is it? Of course. And if you were right, what do you think could possibly happen? I can only guess, and I don't like what I'm guessing. Tidal waves, earthquakes, volcanic eruptions across the world. I intend to plug that shaft. You have no authority to do that, Captain. And you'll never get it from geophysical headquarters. That shaft is still going to be plugged. Are you really going ahead with it, without authority? Yes, if I have to. The suction device works well. How many cubes? 21 since the shaft blew up. You're working very well, Paul. Amazing what lengths fear of death will drive a man to. The eruptions are increasing steadily. Are you afraid? I am. I'm afraid we started something we can't stop. You started something when you created me. And with this to sustain me, I shall possess powers your infantile mind never dreamed of. I shall... Captain Crane is trying to contact Van Druten of Geophysical Headquarters. How do you know that? We have no direct radio or communication system that would... Telepathy. I didn't build that into your circuitry. There is nothing I cannot build into myself, Paul. has decided to shut down the drilling and close the shaft. Now this madness of yours will end. It should not be necessary to inform you that all communication, sound, electronic, telepathy, is all a matter of wavelengths. I am now tuned into their electronic wavelength. It is a simple matter to adjust myself to Van Druten's brain waves. Captain, this is Sparks. I have Mr. Van Druten of Geophysical Headquarters on line six. Put him on, Sparks. Aye, sir. Captain, according to the reports I've received, there have been some new developments out there. Some pretty dangerous ones. We cut through the Earth's mantle, and the shaft erupted. Which means some pretty drastic action had better be taken right now. I couldn't agree more, sir. Very well, Captain. Well, it's obvious that we'll... It's obvious that... What's obvious, sir? Uh, what did you have in mind? It's possible that you've only pierced a pressure dome, Captain. If so, the eruption will die out and work will begin again. It's not possible, sir. Mr. Omir believes otherwise. I know, he told me. But I believe the shaft should be closed immediately. Mr. Omir also accuses you of threatening to do so without proper authority. I did say that, sir, but only because I think that... Captain, let me remind you that you are there only to lend technical assistance. Many nations have been involved in this project, and many millions of dollars have been spent. If we abandon it, it can only be because we have full and complete proof that we must. We certainly have nothing like that now. But there must have been repercussions somewhere as a result of the eruption. 
Some minor earthquakes have been reported. Mount Lassen in California showing signs of increased volcanic activity, nothing beyond that. But what further proof do you need? That's up to us to decide, not you. Any unilateral action on your part, and you'll be up on charges in the UN. That's all, Captain. Sounds as though that's that. Not to me, it doesn't. I think Mount Lassen is going to blow. And a dozen more volcanoes. And that'll be just the beginning of worldwide destruction, unless we can do something about it. You're not going to try to plug that shaft after what Van Druten said? No, not yet. Proof, Chip. If I can only get proof. When is this going to end, old man? When I'm ready. By then, half the world will be in flames. That's a matter of complete indifference to me, Paul. Careful if you put them too close together. All humans are cowards, aren't they? And you're the most cowardly of all. What are you going to do now? I need this to augment my powers. As though the evilness in you was not powerful enough. I have things to do, and I need additional energy to accomplish them. Drill control. I must speak to Captain Crane at once. No, old man. Surely you're not asking pity from me. Drill control dome. This is Captain Crane. Over. I'm sorry. I called him, old man. I'm truly sorry. This is Captain Crane. What is it you wanted? Can you hear me, drill control dome? Can you? contact with drill control no sir apparently they're not receiving our transmission see if you can raise Admiral Nelson at the Institute aye aye sir what do you make of it I wish I knew chip first Paul Ward calls men's cut off and now this turbulence might have wrecked the radio no 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 we lost contact before this happened what's the damage control report in the flying sub Main circuitry shorted, summer sisters blown. Order out a repair party. Aye, sir. You're going to control center? Yeah, I may have to. Well, what's causing this, Chip? We know the shaft's blown. There's no way of telling how much damage that might be. Oh, more than that. Like what? The strange way our instruments acted. That interrupted call from Paul Ward. Van Druten's change of attitude. Now this last turbulence. This is Sparks, Captain. I have the Institute for you. Reporting is altered, sir. Check out the flying sub, make sure she's operational. All right. Put me through to Admiral Nelson. This is Captain Crane. 
Sorry, sir. The Admiral hasn't returned yet. Then contact him and patch me through. It's urgent. We can't do that, Captain. He's incommunicado. Top secret presidential mission. Then have him contact me the minute he breaks loose. Aye, sir. Looks like it's all up to you, Lee. Yes, it does, doesn't it? Sparks, any luck trying to contact drill control? No, sir. And I've been unable to reach Mr. Van Druten at geophysical headquarters. Any technical problems? No, sir. They report he's unavailable. See if you can pick up a newscast from the States in the nose video phone. Aye, aye, sir. Where did you get in there? Where, where'd you come from? Drill control dome. Come on. Without diving gear? Then you're dry. Radiant heat has many uses. Well, uh, I'll... I'll have to tell the skipper you're aboard. That won't be necessary. I'm afraid it is. No unauthorized personnel are allowed on board. I said it wasn't necessary. Oh. series of holocausts springing up all over the world is the eruption of Mount Vesuvius in Italy. Fujiyama in Japan has also become suddenly active. A major earthquake has shaken the Philippines. Tidal waves and hurricanes have caused widespread destruction and many deaths. And as of this moment, there's been no definitive answer to the reason why all these events... Van Druden won't even talk to us. It's too late for talk now. I'm going to close that shaft. Can you do it? I think so. A charge of heavy explosive in the instrumentation cave, right against the shaft wall. That should do it. Riley. Yes, sir. Break out three MZ bombs and lay them down to the missile room on the double. Aye, aye, sir. Three, sir? One could blow up a battle. Three. Aye, aye, sir. Sorry, Captain. I can't allow you to blow the shaft closed. How did you get here? That doesn't matter. I've been observing your fumbling search for the obvious. Now let me enlighten you. There's a new heavy element coming up from beneath the Earth's mantle. Subterranean 116. A source of pure energy. More powerful than anything known to man. We have to close that shaft. We've got to. The shaft is my only source of S-116. I can't let you close it. That shaft is going to be closed whether you like it or not. Reactor room, kill the power feed to drill control and drop all the cables. Aye, sir. <laughs> I don't need your power, Captain. I have my own. Permit me to demonstrate. Total repair time. Estimate three days, sir. Take this man and throw him in the brig. I wouldn't advise him, Captain. What happened to your equipment could easily happen to human flesh. 
All right. What do you want? What just happened is only a small sample of the force that can destroy the sea view. If you try to close the shaft before I'm ready to have it done. When will that be? When I have all the S-116 I need. 10 or 12 days. 10 or 12 days. And meanwhile, more volcanoes will erupt. Millions of people will die, right? Probably. And you'd let them die, wouldn't you? Just so you can stockpile a source of energy. Not just any source of energy, Captain. Subterranean 116. <sighs> why? Tell me why. To have and control pure energy. To use it as it should be used. To reward the good men or nations. And to punish the evil. Who decides? Who names the good, the evil? I do. You've had your warning, Captain. He did. No, no, let him go. How do you do all that? Forced field, electronic radiation, I don't know. Chip, he's got to be stopped, destroyed. Riley, get those mines rigged and ready to go. Aye, aye, sir. Chip, get a diving party together. You'd better leave them. We'll suit up right away. Now, Chip, look. I don't know what powers Omir has. You might be spotted leaving the sea view and killed. Do you realize that? Hmm. We've got to find something else for him to do. Like what? We'll lower the diving bell. While he's busy with that, you and the others make a try for the cave. Ski! What happened to you? What? What happened? Oh, I don't know. Uh, oh, Mary. He came aboard and put his hand on my shoulder and... Oh, man. I gotta alert the skipper. Forget it. Omir's already blown the scene. How does he do it, Riley? How does he do what? Walk through water. No scuba gear, no wet clothes. Knocks me out that way. What kind of a joker is this Omir anyway? You tell me. All I know is he's got the skipper close to going ape, and I'm not very far behind. Riley, you got those MZ bombs ready? Yes, sir. Right here. Okay, suit up, Kowalski. You and I and Jensen are going for a little swim. I see. Uh, sir, could I go in Kowalski's place? Why? No reason, sir. Riley just bucking for promotion. That's not true, sir. When that Mr. O'Meara came on board, he knocked Ski out. I found him on the floor. He just came around. Is that right, Kowalski? Yes, sir. But I'm A-OK now. Maybe not. Better have the doc check you out in sick bay. No need, sir, honest. Besides, uh, I cut my eye teeth on those MZs. If you're going to use them, you'll need me. All right, you're in. Let's hope you don't regret it. We can lower the bell whenever you're ready, sir. Fine. You'd better ground this. If an electrical charge comes up the cable, it'll go back into the sea. Yes, sir. You all right, Kowalski? Yes, sir. But I sure wish I knew what that Omer hit me with. Oh, so do I. Now remember, nobody moves out until the light flashes. First the diving bell goes, then you three. You got it? All right, yes, sir. All right. Now good luck. All right, Riley. Now I'll get his attention. And when I do, press this and signal the missile room. Aye, aye, sir. Fox, ready. Aye, sir. I expected you to wait 10 minutes before you called. You're one minute early. I'm asking you again to let me close the shaft. Are you, Captain? Or is there more to this call than you would have me think? You know you can't change my mind. I have to try. You also know this talk is a waste of time. Obviously, you're calling to hold my attention while you... 
So that's it. You're using the diving bell to release frogmen who will enter the cave with explosives. You can forget about it, Captain. Keep the sea view between us and your control dome. Aye, sir. Mr. Morton, my fall started the detonating timer. Can you shut it off, sir? No, it takes a fuse extractor. Sir, the timer was set to detonate an hour after the fuse was activated. It gives us an hour to get back to the sea view. We still have plenty of time. Let's get this thing put together. Yes, sir. Time of paralysis is over. There's work to do. Yeah. I delivered a message to the Sea View as I told you I would. I'm impressed by Captain Crane. I believe I may have use for him. What use could you have for anyone, old man? I'll require a staff to aid me in my future work. Captain Crane is intelligent, resourceful. He might fit into my plans nicely. What good would a human be to you? Not much. But you created me. Perhaps I could create something superior to humans out of Crane. You couldn't do that. There is nothing I cannot do if it pleases me. I'll... Captain Crane is even more clever than I thought. The diving bell was only a diversion. He sent men into the instrumentation cave while I was busy with him and you. But you built me to think ahead. To prepare for any eventuality. So. Thing, sir. Force fields. We're trapped in here. Calling Seaview. Morton calling Seaview. Come in, Chip. We're trapped, Lee. Caught between two force fields. Jensen's dead. Uh, what about you and Kowalski? 
Men hurt, but there's something else. Kowalski fell and activated one of the bombs. We're too far from the wall to assure closure of the shaft if the bombs explode here. Just hang on. I'll do what I can. What can we do to get them out, sir? Uh, I don't know, Riley. Is there a way to break the force field loose, sir? Sparks, get me Mr. Omer on the video phone. Aye, aye, sir. What is it now, Captain? I want to bargain with you. Interesting. You have Commander Morton trapped in the instrumentation cave. Quite true. I want him and the others out of there. In exchange, I'll give you men from the sea view to mine subterranean 116. 50 men in scuba gear can mine 100 times what your equipment can. The idea has some merit, Captain. You can get all the elements you want in a shorter time. Then we can close the shaft before any more damage is done. I'll accept your offer on one condition. What's that? I want Commander Morton to organize the mining. And I want you here as hostage to be sure things go as you say they will. You want me as a prisoner in drill control? That's right. All right. I'll be right there. Prepare the flying sub for immediate launch. Aye, aye, sir. He doesn't trust me, and I don't trust him. It should make for a very interesting visit. Any ideas, sir? Maybe we can use our laser guns and blast that electrode and break the force field. At least we'll be able to set the bombs in place. It's worth a try, sir. One thing. It's possible we'll set that thing loose all over the cave. I came to play, sir. We'll keep firing. Something's got to give that thing a us. Come in, Captain. Welcome to the drill control dome. Where's your assistant? Paul is in the reaction chamber. Preparing the materials for an experiment on you. What experiment? I came here as a hostage. No, Captain. You came here in an attempt to destroy me. However, any question of combat between us is purely academic. Let me demonstrate. You're only temporarily paralyzed. Can you talk? Yes. The effect will wear off in 10 minutes or so. But by then, it won't make any difference. I'm almost through, sir. Power pack used up. Mine's almost empty, too. We've got a long way to go. Hey, that almost did it, sir. Now, if you can just blast it at the connecting edge, we'll be in business. Wait. I'll take the connecting edge, you take the center. We're fired together. Yes, sir. At least we can place those bombs. Still paralyzed? Yes. What's that? A circuitry transplant, Captain. Transplant? And it will soon be an integrated part of a person once known as Captain Crane. You going to transplant that thing into me? Interesting concept, isn't it? What the result might be, I'm not sure. 
You may be completely android like me, half android, half human, or it may not work at all. In which case, I'll be dead. A fairly good assumption, Captain. Paul, bring in the subterranean 116. We're ready to begin. This is the end of it all, Mayor. I'm taking charge again. Unless you agree to do as I say, I'll bring these cubes together and release the energy. It won't work, Paul. The energy will only feed me, not destroy me. Before you could paralyze me, I can bring them together. You may not be destroyed, but your refining process will. We can reach an agreement. You're just upset. Stop. I'm warning you. I'll risk losing the refining process if I have to. Now give me those cubes or I'll kill you. His glasses, destroy them. I Get out! Close that door! to Skipper. Let's move. Set to go off. Who's Captain Crane? He's not here yet, sir. He's on his way back in the flying sub. Good news, Admiral. Thanks. We'll expect you back shortly. Admiral Nelson, he's due to arrive in the flying sub any minute. Great. Even better, he says the earthquakes and volcanic action are subsiding all over the world. Hmm. That was a little too close for my taste, Lee. I still don't understand how Omar wasn't killed by the energy instead of feeding on it. His eyes. They were photosensory cells. That's why he wore those dark glasses when he was exposed to the energy. You see, without them, the energy penetrated the cells and destroyed him. Flying sub approaching, Captain. We'll make surface contact. I'll go up on the bridge and pipe my board. Fine. I'll go with you. Mm -hmm. 